Okay, y'all. So this is my Cormac Tower deck, y'all. And I got a Happy Tower deck that's going to be positive, that's coming out. You can't go one way without going the other. But since most people try to play on people's weaknesses and all this life is about is people scamming, lying, cheating, stealing, manipulating, hating, being envy, jealous, and deceptive. A tower for stealing someone else's identity. So someone is about to have a tower. And then, um, and it's going to be for them stealing someone else's identity. Say, for instance, uh, you know, on the internet, you always had this B.I. that was going around like solidly or secretly following you. And, um, hold on, guys. But anyway, where we get those at? Tomorrow. If you can tell me, I'm gonna come over to stay with it. I'm going up there looking good. Oh, you mean Rowling ain't took thugs yet? Rowling ain't took me yet. Oh, but anyway, no, it, it'll be pretty or whatever because I want to try to get a showcase. Put with uh, all three of y'all, um, you can, and uh, with all y'all hair, y'all real hair. So Maya gonna use that picture that she was. Yeah, I'm gonna have that on there with her hair going like that. I think Maya needs to be here for the day. Well, whatever you do, but Amber, Amber said she would do it last night. Like, we got to get on the ball. We got to get on the ball. Okay, I'll be around to your house in just a little bit. Tower, so this is my um, Cormac Tower deck. And, you know, as positive as we want to speak and be, or whatever, people don't understand why I focus more on Cormac stuff because I know things about people. I got a gift and I may not say anything, or whatever, but you know, people trying to stop and block me, that's not going to work. God is getting ready to do something. Tired for him not really loving who, who they're with. So you could have been dealing with, if you've been dealing with a masculine or whatever, and they've been like in this superficial relationship or going around and just messing with different women or whatever, and you know, just to be messing around and, you know, doing stuff. Or whatever, um, I would just ignore him. I would ignore him, I would cut him off. You know, you can be his friend or whatever, whatever, but I would ignore him and block him off or whatever, or block him because most of the real, real divine films I know, you've also blocked this person that's getting ready to face this tower. This person could have, like, uh, they could feel the tower coming on. And so it could have been a person like randomly like went and tried to erase their social media or this is a person that's prone and known to do things in behind the scene in the shadows. They think that people don't know what they're doing, but they steal other people's identity. This could be a man or a woman and they're getting ready to get a tower. This is a person that make fake profiles. They follow you or whatever and pretend as though they don't. Uh, whatever um this tower for whomever this person was to that you were messing with um that um 
that you could have been messing around with, that you could have had real, like, genuine, genuine love for this person, but this person or whatever is in all these connections because they really don't, you know, they really don't love who they're with genuinely. Um, a tower for a tarot reader stealing from other tarot readers. So it's a tower coming for a tarot reader that's been stealing for them. And then, you know, uh, um, I'm going to come back because I'm going to have this deck here. And then I'm going to have uh, what's going to happen for them uh, or along the lines of what they the consequences may be. But as far as we know, the tower that's arising right now that's being uh, issued to these karmic people, because you've got to be on a karmic level if you want to be someone else and not your own self. If you are busy trying to steal someone else's identity, look like them, take stuff from them, watch them and want to compete with them, want to one up them and feel the need that you got to just do a whole bunch of things that are of darkness. You're karmic. You're on a karmic level, a tower for him, not really loving who they're with. So this person never did love who they were really with a tower for a tarot reader, stealing from other readers like it's going to be a day about to catch that tower. It ain't no if, ands, or buts. Okay, it's about to be a tower for a prejudiced uh, officer. You're going to start seeing here in the near future that uh, prejudiced officers, they're just going to be getting busted and getting called out on their bull. Like, when they're being prejudiced, people are going to start letting them know. Black people are going to start recording them. It, it's good that they got all this modern stuff to help society, you know, uh, get to the bottom of all of this mess because it's going to be hell cleaning up all of this stuff or whatever if you don't got receipts, you know, a way of recording this stuff. But it's a, the tower is about to come on a prejudiced police officer. So I don't know what they've been thinking. I know what they've been doing, but um, tower for pretending to be a tarot reader, but really a prostitute. So the tower is coming for someone that's been shuffling cards on here, um, trying to pretend as though they um, was a tarot reader, but all the time they've been sitting up here hitting them licks behind the scene, selling that body, selling that twatty, being naughty. Okay, so a tower for a tourist. So if you were dealing with a Taurus and uh, this Taurus or this Taurus could be one of these people up here or whatever, um, the tower for a cancer having an incurable disease, uh, it could have been a cancer that been sleeping with men or whatever, whatever, it wasn't telling these people that she had this STD or whatever, you're about to hear about this cancer or whatever, um, that's been sleeping with people, not telling them that she had this she is it or whatever, and they're getting ready to get their karma. A tower for a uh, tourist, again, I state they could have been watching, following your channel, and uh, you know, here in the near future, you're about to see um, this fell in reverse. If someone was trying to make like you was a hoe. Or whatever, or you had been sleeping around, you just wanted sex from people, it fell out in reverse. The tower for uh, she just wants sex, it's not it, it fell out in reverse. It that was a lie, it's not true. They're gonna find out that this drama king or whatever it could have been one of your exes that was on a low vibration and you was vibing low with their asses while you was dealing with them, could have been a Taurus or a Cancer. Or the person, this drama king that you had been dealing with that went around lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. Even this drama king, he likes to steal other people's identities is what I, I'm getting. It could be a partner that you used to be with or whatever. And this partner could have been playing all day long. This person could have lived with you and all of that. Been acting as though they were genuine, acting like they really loved you and all of that and really didn't. The tower is about to hit that ass and you getting ready to hear about this tower. 
uh, the tower for the tarot reader that's stealing from other tarot readers, the tower getting ready to hit that ass and you getting ready to hear about them or whatever. Or a lot of them, when the tower is hitting them, they behind the scene, they're not saying anything. The tower is hitting them, but they don't want nobody to know because this is the stuff they've been doing in the dark, in the shadows, that they thought they were silently doing this identity theft and identity stealing from other people's channels solidly thinking that didn't nobody but God seen them God seen them this prejudice officer thinking he could be prejudiced and knowing he's a police officer you shouldn't even be an officer because you're going to treat someone unfair at, at, at any given chance you get homie so all of this is going on and around this is a collective so whatever falls out falls out y'all is to do with somebody somewhere with some situation you know, uh, a tarot reader pretending to be a tarot reader and she hitting them licks uh, behind the scene. That tower getting ready to come because she thought didn't nobody know about it or whatever. A tower for someone's uh, birthday in March. Big liars, but it came in reverse. Whoever this is, that their, their birthday is uh, is in March or whatever that been lying or whatever um someone could have said something about you or went against you or did something or whatever they could have been lying on you or whatever clearly we see here it came in reverse so um whatever they did or whatever and whoever did this put out lies on you spread it and wrong information on you um did you wrong, whatever, whatever. It's in reverse and nothing is going to happen to you. It went right back to them. It's getting ready to happen to them. And you're going to hear about them. If they lied, stole, cheated, betrayed you, did you wrong, whatever. It's all coming back to them full force, right back in a circle. They wanted to try to make you out to be a lie about something you said about them. That was true. It went back to them. I, I have you to know, know that right now. Um, this tower for this Taurus, I don't know. I'm just getting heavily. This Taurus been behind the scene. They watch your channel. They don't want to come forward or whatever. Uh, this Taurus is going to be put in the light or whatever. Or you're going to find out, um, some kind of way or whatever that this Taurus been watching you, stalking you, something like you or something of that nature is what I'm getting. Uh, a tower for a drama king. If you were dealing with a drama cormic king in the past or whatever, the tower is hitting that ass. You're going to hear about them. If they put out lies on you, tried to make you out to be a hoe, belittled you, betrayed you, backstabbed you, got people to plot up against you, you about to hear about them and they dramatic ass family and they are a drama king and you're going to find out and everybody in the neighborhood is going to know that this person is a drama king. Or whatever tower that she wanted sex. This person, what I'm getting is Drama King went out and said that you, you know, could have been messing around. You be out on the town. You uh, sleep with a lot of different people or whatever. They're finding out right now that it was them. They the hoe. They be manipulating, hating, and uh, taking. And uh, that's what they do. The tower is here for a Virgo. Whoever this Virgo was that may have even stole someone's identity. They dealt with identity crisis in the past. They did this behind the scenes. Now, y'all, this could be anybody. This could be a celebrity. This could be a poor person, a homeless person. This could be a tarot reader. This could be anybody. If you are a Virgo, you going through towers because you have did some underhand dealings or whatever, and it's getting ready to hit you with your best shot. But it's going to be the shot that people are going to see or whatever, and you're going to know that you just stepped on them hot coals, and God kept trying to get you to stop it, and stop it, and stop it, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't, um, tower for, tower for old, a uh, old person, and can't control their sex drive, it's a tower for someone that's older, you're going to find out this could have been a partner you mess with, or something of that nature, they could be up in rank, 
at least almost about 50 or even in their late 40s. I don't know, but they don't know how to control their sex drive. This person could deal with the Virgo or this person could be a Virgo. But this Virgo gets to have a tower because they can't control their sex drive is what I'm getting that went with that or uh, whatever. Uh, tower for uh, a Libra still. Ooh. What I'm getting is a tower for a Libra still in someone's identity. Like this Libra or whatever went to no ends of measurements to try to go in or they try to act like this person or they try to take things from this person or they try to take the spotlight off of someone. This Libra isn't genuine. This Libra uh, secretly stalks someone in the collective or someone here or whatever. Um, they stalk them. Um, and, uh, Tower for Aquarius still in someone's rap verses and it's here twice, but this Libra here, um, the Tower for a Cancer, if a Cancer did you wrong or whatever, um, and, you know, wanted to be manipulative, stole something from you, took something from you was sitting up here competing with you, was really jealous of you, and you had mad, genuine love for this person, this cancer behind the scene is going through towers right now. And they might not want you to know about it, but they going through it. Now, this Libra here, they got this tower coming for their ass from stealing someone's identity. They really been doing that. They tried to go, I don't care if they went and got botched. I don't care if they went and... um try to shortstop you. I don't care if they went and they try to take your shine. I don't care if they try to one up you. I don't care if they clicked up all these gang clicks and all of this. And these people, they're getting ready for their tower tower for Aquarius who can't control their sex drive either. You're going to, uh, behind the scene, this Aquarius is about to get it. They can't control their sexual desires and they about to get that tower for that ass. A tower for a, a Gemini which can't control their sex sexual desires. So it's a Gemini around in the vicinity that got that tower coming for their asses. Because they can't control their little sexual desires. God about to uh, uh, rain on their parade and everybody else that's in this clique. Tower for being young and can't even control your sexual drive or whatever uh this is a young person that is overly heated they got to be having sex they got to be sleeping with multiple people could even be a prostitute like because right here we seen it here that this uh tarot reader is pretending to be a tarot reader but they're a prostitute it is someone young that cannot control their sexual desires that tower about to hit that ass right about now right about now gemini or whatever um if gemini has been acting innocent or like they ain't been giving up that woo thing pal y'all um it's gonna come to a halt if this gemini is acting overly sexual and can't control that shit they're gonna get exposed the tower fits to hit that ass for this gemini for not being able to control their sexual desires or this gemini may confront somebody right now because they feel it so bad in the britches or down below they just got these desires for somebody that they want to explore and they are going to come to the forefront to let somebody know look i can't control this anymore i'm looking at you and i'm looking at you and i'm looking at you and you look too good baby and um i'm just gonna tell you what i want to do i want some that woo thing pat y'all or whatever, uh, Tower 4, this Libra can't control their sexual desires, so this Libra, or whatever, behind the scene, all the time, been dealing with childhood wounds, or no, they wasn't dealing with their childhood wounds, and someone's gonna find out, you know, that this person is in this connection, they got with this person that they are with through lust, because they couldn't control their sexual desires, they had to be actually overly freaky, or whatever and couldn't control that and they end up in a connection with someone that did them wrong or be doing them wrong because it's karmic yes 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 or they're gonna find out about this libra 
be fumbling kids or something of that nature is what I'm getting or whatever. But the tower is getting ready to expose them. Yeah, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, baby. I'm over you. You went for yours. Now I'm going for mine. You play me, boy. You let me on. You did me wrong. Sorry, sorry, baby. It's over now. You went for yours. Now I'm going for mine. Tower for a, ce a celebrity having a crush on a tarot card reader. This fell out last night. Somebody that's a celebrity, they really got a crush on you. They really uh, ain't playing with these feelings here. Tower for this tarot, reader, uh, tarot card reader having sex with a celebrity in secret. One of these celebrities then snuck around and they didn't hit it and quit it, toot it and boot it. Tooted and booted, and you're getting ready to find out because someone ain't gonna be able to hold a water. Somebody told them, Don't tell nobody or whatever, and they still did. A tower for it's a tower really about to come for Aquarius or whatever. I'm not lying, they dealing with they got some sexual stuff they need to get off the brain. Um, they gonna be getting exposed in they name, uh, in Jesus' name. Tower for uh, being fit, being over 50 and unattainable. It's about to be an old mf -er or whatever. If your ass is grown like that and you sitting your ass out here, um, can't even hold your damn mud and all kinds of stuff because you getting effed all up in kinds of ways through the front, the back, the ear, the eyes, the nose. Tower for he just wanted sex. Somebody just wanted sex with somebody. But these towers, a tower for happiness, your happiness is here, though. Everything is not all bad. And then y'all know I'm going to have my happy tower deck that's coming out. Somebody going to be happy after they get out of all of this darkness and the shadows and heal a lot of this or whatever the tower the happy tower is still coming for you and uh tower for aquarius it doesn't mean it's going to be all bad it's just neat meaning that stuff behind the scene that's or in the dark that's hidden that need to be cleaned up it's going to be getting exposed so it can help you move on to your next next chapter tower for sleeping with men and women somebody about to get that tower Somebody going to find out there is somebody around in the collective, whether it's on the internet, in your community, your neighbor, your family, whatever. Uh, that tower about to hit them and expose they ass about sleeping with men and women. Tired for lying about his sexuality. He's really gay. Whoa. So this tower really fits to hit somebody like somebody been trying to hide the fact that and you know you, this could have been a person or whatever you like or you could have been dealing with this person or whatever and you just like wondering like you know what i'm saying you know that it's something fishy about this person you can't put your finger on it and you know you just like you know this person is uh you know this person be at home such and such through such and if this person just ghost out of nowhere or disappear even from their home and you're wondering where they're at, you knowing that they're not at work, you know, all day, every day like that. This person is a workaholic, but they have periods of times where they disappear and they don't be at their home day or night or whatever. You're going to find out that this is what this person was doing. This person could have been messing with women and women. And you're going to find out that they been lying about uh, his sexuality He's gay or whatever. Uh, tower for a Capricorn. It's a tower for a Sagittarius that's been talking they effing mouth off a, a bit too much. They, uh, you know, went around lying on you, stealing, cheating, slandering your name. They even got people involved is what I'm getting with this Sagittarius. And that tower fits to shut that damn mouth because God going to make a believer out of them. Whoever this Sagittarius is that's been running off. Okay.
tower for this Capricorn. Uh, it's a tower moment that's to come for this person. You could have blocked this person or whatever, what not have you, what not, or whatever. And this person is feeling some type of way because you blocked them or whatever. So they feel the need to come after you and they want to come for you all because you don't want to be bothered with their asses because you know that they're doing some underhand dealings behind your back. They lick, they clink, they clicked up, licked up, ticked up, bicked up, whatever they did. Yeah, now they got to get their, yeah, check up or whatever, uh, whatever they doing or whatever. But the tower is here for them. The tower is here for this Scorpio. What I'm getting is these people all, these big, big, big wrote in the big bold blue or whatever these towers that's for these signs or whatever these are people that's been stalking watching block you thought it was on the low they leaked up they linked up they clicked up they blicked up and did all of this against you and the tower is about to get ready to expose them here in the near future maybe tomorrow maybe tonight maybe in the morning or whatever, maybe next week, maybe next month. It's coming though. You getting ready. These people are gonna be exposed because they were doing underhand dealings or whatever. Tower for a Libra. A Libra is really about to get their ass exposed because they've been doing stuff in darkness or whatever that they thought was hitting that they didn't want nobody to know about them, whether it was bopping, popping, or locking, or uh, you know. Clicking up a tower for an uh, incurable uh, STD. Somebody uh, in the vicinity got an uh, incurable STD. They could have just been sleeping around with people or, you know, they're around in the collective or whatever. They could be on YouTube. They could be on Facebook. They could be on IG. They could be in your neighborhood. They could be in your family. They could be your friend. They, it could be you. It could be your mama, daddy, cousin, kid. I don't care. That tower getting ready to expose their ass. Yeah, uh, tower for a cancer not committee. Um, yeah, so this cancer is not a person they really, really like to uh, 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 commit to, to people. They like to have it their way. It says twice, the tower is right here for this cancer, and the tower is for this cancer, for not one to be committal or whatever. Something is going to happen where this yeah, this cancer getting ready to have to face their shadow side or whatever. And they're going to feel more about committing this time around or whatever to something or someone that tower about to make them commit. Okay. On this deck or whatever we got here, a tower for a Virgo stealing others ideas. So it's been a Virgo somewhere around in your uh, vicinity that have been taking other people's uh, ideas and things of that nature they be on the internet they be off the internet they could be in your family they could be doing anything i don't care i don't know i'm i'm just delivering the message if you thought stuff was hitting once we speak it or uh, whatever into existence if you've been working from your shadow side here's the thing i don't ever dwell on anything that's good that people do or whatever or trying to take their necessities or their real stuff that they need. Like say for instance, it was a woman and she had children. Um, and you know, we know she's grimy. We know she be doing stuff. We know she be stealing from people. We know she be, I'm not going to just go and say, Oh God, uh, you know, cause I can't go and pray to God to do anything bad to anyone. Cause God don't operate like that. What he do? He let the devil have them. If they want to stay in their own demonic demise, or, uh, you know, build up a demonic demise for themselves, then God will allow the devil to use them and then in turn, turn around and abuse them, give them what they want or whatever they wanted to wish bad on other people, wanted people to be without, wanted people to be in the slums and wanted people to be poor and not have a lot, wanted people to be rejected, wanted people to be lonely, wanted people to be, uh, you know, stagnated, wanted people to be stuck, wanted people to wish bad stuff on other people to happen bad for people or whatever you're not supposed to wish nothing bad on nobody pray nothing bad on nobody none of that you can speak it though you know that they're doing dark, bad stuff from darkness and they're demonic and they on demon time and they're a demon seed and they come clearly and they let you know this or whatever you leave them right in their uh 
leave them sitting right there to deal with all of their karmic darkness or whatever of Satan using their ass, then turning around and uh, everything that he gave them, he's taking that back from them and he's going to put more on them or whatever. And, uh, and Satan causes premature death. Satan causes, you know, people operating out of darkness and refusing to heal their shadow side. And, oh, I'm a demon seed. I'm demon time doing demon things. And da 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 You know, you hear them with all this demonic effery or whatever. And they think they're the shiznit, the shid or whatever. And when bad stuff start happening to, no one gets away. Just put it like that. And it's more people doing more wrong than good. So this is my big ass deck right here to do with towers. And if you think a tower ain't going to hit your ass, I'm just making it crystal clear. I'm letting you know what the tower is here for. Uh, Aquarius stealing someone's rap beats. You're getting your ass that tower coming. And, you know, not to speak nothing illegitimate or wrong or bad or hateful on anyone or wish nothing bad on people or whatever since they want to do it in secret no we're going to expose it in the public and if god is going to be the judge he's the judge so if you spew something up out of your mouth you got all these karmics they're spewing stuff and going and practicing witchcraft on people doing ugly things to people wanting to make things in life hard for you or whatever but if you get the spoon spewing out all this stuff um, you know, and bringing it out to into the atmosphere or whatever, instead of being secretive or hiding it because this is stuff you know that they're doing or whatever, uh, it's going to manifest, okay? The same way you can manifest ugly uh, shit on people that you know you shouldn't be doing because you jealous, you hateful, you envy, you competing one-on-one -on -one up or you feel that you got to be number one or you feel that you got to, uh, you know, beat someone out or you feel that you got to get in someone else's lane or whatever and you want someone else to blame for your hurts and your pains or whatever. So you try to place hard things, you know, pin other people down for harsh, painful endings that they don't deserve to be pinned down because they're yours. It's your battle. You, 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 you know, you created it for yourself and now you want someone else to walk in your shoes or be punished for your effery? No, it doesn't work like that. We bring it out to the surface, okay, baby? This the tower deck. This where we're doing it at. And it's going to come complete. And it's going to come correct. And that's all I got to say. And we're on it. The tower deck. We want to know what these towers are for. And that's why we're coming with the towers, okay? Yeah, with superpowers. Coming with the towers with superpowers. And it's the powers of light to bring darkness into the light and up out of the night. And we're going to really do it right. And everything going to be all right. You can go and fly a kite. I'm a to and grab the mic. Yeah, I'm doing it on site. And that's period point blank. That's what this is. So you haters hate. And I'm going to create an earthquake. How about that? How about that? How about that? Okay. And see way, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.